astrophotography. It can be epic, capturing the universe in all its glory. But sometimes it's just hard. This is one of those times. Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Today I am with uh, Martijn as you have already seen and we have driven to Eiffel. We are at the Cottenborne Capelle. It's not the first time we are here. Uh, long time viewers of the channel will probably recognize this one. We also wanted to, to shoot a Perseids meteor shower but hey, that didn't happen because they were renovating the roof. It's now fixed. Um, three months we have had terrible, terrible weather. Only clouds, 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 clouds. So, we were super psyched that all the weather models said it was going to be clear here. I don't know, <laughs> but let's see, let's go. So of course tonight we hope to photograph Orion while we still can. We're still deep in winter as you can see uh, from the snow here. Uh, besides that, we also have a parade of planets, as, it's, uh, as they call it on the popular internet websites. That means we could see six planets in the sky, so maybe I'll make a panorama of that. Um, yeah, uh, this is not the only place we want to shoot. Uh, we also have uh, two other compositions in mind. Um, but the weather forecast, uh, yeah, we just uh, saw the new reruns of the models. We're doing some uh, now casting and it's not looking too good, so we might try to drive somewhere else which is also <laughs> astrophotography for you. So yeah, we'll see. I think we'll stick around for a little bit more and then we'll see what happens. Well, this is where our trouble started. Okay, so we have a total change of plan. Uh, as always is, seems to be the case, uh, yeah, it's just super cloudy and it doesn't look like it's going to be any better soon so uh, last minute uh, we have decided to drive one hour north uh, to a dam it's uh, about uh, about an hour walk let me check the road yeah it's about an hour's walk through the woods we will arrive in the dark which is of course exciting uh, it's we have a small chance it will be clear there the webcams at the moment say it is so uh, yeah fingers crossed We'll see, we'll see. Always an adventure with Martijn <laughs> or with Astro in general. So as you can see, we have uh, arrived at our uh, full uh, fallback location, Plan B. There's the car, there's Martijn, and if you look closely, I don't know if you see it on the camera, I think not, we see some planets already. So uh, it is crystal clear here, it's only a 45 minutes drive. Uh, we have to go there, into the woods, in the dark, we haven't scouted the area, but uh, we're getting uh, ready for the hike and for a couple of hours uh, of shooting Orion hopefully. And um, there might be one issue because we didn't choose this spot uh, in the first place because there are um, uh, street lights on the dam but you can only uh, come there uh, after 45 minutes walk so we are hoping those street lights will stay off and otherwise we will just handle it and uh, we are happy enough to see some stars. <laughs> Okay, we are walking back. <laughs> Why? Because the paths were getting steeper and steeper and more and more slippery from ice. And uh, yeah, it was just too dangerous to go there. The uh, Martijn slipped a couple of times, I sli slipped a couple of times. So yeah, we were not taking that risk. So we are now walking back to the car and we're going for plan C. <laughs> Come on, we're going to a, a viewpoint, should be easy. But he also thought of it about plan A and plan B. At least the stars are out, so uh, 
Come on, man. <laughs> so, so we have uh, scrambled to a uh, park, a uh, field, a little field here in the middle of a living area. Um, pretty tricky. <laughs> Why is it tricky? Um, our plan C was to shoot a viewpoint, but at the viewpoint, it is a really nice viewpoint, but we can't polar a line there. Uh, besides that, uh, Orion will only be seems to be only in a good spot there from the viewpoint uh, to the south, uh, to the south, more or less around uh, 20 to uh, 30. And at the moment, it is uh, only uh, half past seven or something, so Orion is pretty low on the horizon. Um, I've just looked up maybe another composition somewhere close. It's in a harbor where uh, Orion will be to the southeast. Um, I haven't seen that foreground yet, so that makes it a little bit tricky. So I have to do a little bit of guesswork here, how to shoot my foregrounds. It's only a couple of minutes drive, but still, yeah, I really like to shoot my foregrounds at the place where I shoot my uh, composition to just yeah, really match it. I'll do my best, but hey, plan C already. Um, it's a bit hazy at the moment, uh, not too bad though. I think we can make it work. But yeah, to be honest, uh, after plan uh, number three now, which is also not really what we hope for. We have to uh, motivate ourselves a little bit. So I'll just shoot this foreground. I'll do it at 20 millimeters, I think. And after that, uh, one or two hours uh, from now, I'll shoot Orion uh, at his highest position in the south. And after that, we'll go to our foreground location. And uh, we'll see what we can uh, salvage from this night. But hey, you know what, I'm just going to enjoy looking to the stars at this uh, little field for about one and a half hours, I think. And just relaxed. Because come on, man, I haven't seen stars in about three months. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> Finally, we were shooting something. All right, so our first uh, stacks are now running. Let's uh, take a look at the planet parade. Here we can see uh, Mars. It's the orange star right here, the bright one. And if you go right to Orion and we go up a little bit, just beside the star Aldebaran, we can see uh, Jupiter, yeah. <laughs> Pleiades is there, beautiful. If we go to the right, uh, I'm not sure which one it is, but we could see Uranus and somewhere here between should also be Neptune. I'll make a shot and I'll uh, check it out later. And if you go down there, we can see uh, the brightest one, of course, that's uh, Venus. And to the left, bottom left of it, there's Saturn. So we have now uh, six planets visible in the night sky, which is kind of awesome. Okay, so uh, my first tech is done. I also want to shoot H alpha. I hope I can feel it because it's freezing here, so I don't feel my fingers. Asking Martijn for a little bit of help. Um, now I'm going to remove my lens. I always, not okay. Still have to get used to that my Nikon lenses turn the other way around <laughs> compared to Canon ones. There you go. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I was the filter. There it is. Just pretty easy to uh, clip in, but still. Clip in is easy. Ah. To get the box open. Should start using a uh, screw on filter. Would be much more handy. Okay. Seriously, that's a disadvantage of not shooting for three months. I can't even change my lens. Amateur. 
<laughs> anyway, we were back on track on this cold winter night. Okay, so uh, we are a bit more relaxed by now, I think. How are you going, Martijn? Yeah, going fine. Shooting the second stack, just started the H yeah. alpha. So, uh, yeah, shooting two, two shots on 20 millimeters, uh, 24 millimeters? Uh, or? One on 24 and yeah. the second on 20. Awesome, so, awesome. Yeah. yeah, we're now doing the uh, second stack, which we uh, are going to composite above the uh, viewpoint, uh, which we will go later. Uh, we are just contemplating the sky quality here because we went here because it should be pretty dark and we've been here before in this area and it is. Um, it's not bad at all, but on the other hand, there is also some haze in the sky. We've, yeah, we, we see the light pollution reflecting a little bit. So I am curious what the sky quality here, uh, what we will measure. Um, estimations? I think 21.05. 21.0, yeah, I was also thinking somewhere around 21-ish. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's see how this thing works again. There we should put on off my light. I have put off my light and there we go. Ooh, <laughs> it's 20.44, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. so that is actually maybe even worse than close to home. <laughs> Maybe I uh, will do a remeasure uh, pointing a little bit that way because that's the way we are shooting. There's a house beside us and there's a little video light on. So uh, I'll inform you if it changes. <laughs> With the voice over. <laughs> well, it did not get better. Actually, it got worse. Uh, look what's happening. Fog is coming up pretty bad. Sky quality is horrible. Do you see it behind me? <laughs> it's totally clouded over. In a matter of minutes, uh, the mist was uh, yeah, covering this field. And to make matters worse, I just discovered that uh, my dew heater went off somehow. So my lens was uh, totally fogged up. Uh, I tried to clean it also with uh, some lens fluid, but the lens fluid froze immediately. So I was just rubbing ice on my lens. So those uh, H-alpha shots uh, are worthless. That means I have one foreground shot, which we will uh, drive to. Maybe we can save it uh, by shooting there uh, if the fog uh, isn't uh, right there at the second foreground location, at the viewpoint. But uh, one and I, man, plan C and plan C <laughs> is giving us trouble. So what do you guess? Yes, it got harder. So if you look to this uh, little board, we can see the winter sky. If you look behind <laughs> us, we can only see fog. It's plan C, totally, to total failure. I mean, yeah. we went uh, to the uh, to the harbor, uh, or we tried to go to the harbor, but the roads were very slippery and I don't have winter tires under my car. So when it was too tricky, we decided just to turn around and uh, abandon this foreground. So we drove to our second plan, the viewpoint, which you can hardly see. <laughs> so uh, yeah, maybe we will stick around just for a little bit, but uh, the viewpoint isn't also that good because there's a lot of bushes in front of what, uh, yeah, the river or the uh, lakes, which we should see. So yeah, <laughs> we did see some stars finally, but uh, yeah, we're just defeated. And then finally this happened. Can you believe it? We were just packing up. The fog lifted. The viewpoint here isn't that bad at all. <laughs> and the sky quality seems to have improved quite a lot. So it's about 15 minutes before the moon comes up. I've uh, done a quick vertorama, a quick non-track stack. And then I thought, you know what? What the heck, Martijn also did it. He just set up his uh, star tracker. I'm also doing a uh, track and <laughs> this hobby is crazy, man, but oh, losing <laughs> my balance here. Getting tired, but this is freaking awesome.
Okay, so plan C kind of worked eventually. We were backing up because we were standing in the fog here. We were totally defeated. But then while we were packing, the sky cleared. Yeah. It is still clear, it is freezing cold. Uh, <laughs> I have no gloves on at the moment, but oh. feeling is, uh, my feeling in my hands is gone, but that doesn't matter. Um, I've set up my tracker here again. Martijn also, we even reshot his HL fast tech, I think. Yeah. How many, how many data? I think I have 25 <laughs> minutes RGB and 20 H alpha. Can so you imagine? Maybe a little bit overperforming, but uh. <laughs> overperforming. <laughs> we'll just see about that. Hey, uh, wow! This one is about perseverance. Um, we're going to drive home now. Three hours. Moon is coming up. It was a hard one, but with a little bit of perseverance, I think. I think if we did that, that we managed our shots. Yeah. If it did. Here are, if we did, here are our shots. And for now, I thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.